I've never heard of this one before. Is it the blue Craig? <laughs> Pretty deep scratches there on the bottom. Okay, so the pickups here are, you can see I got quite a bit of uh, different stuff. One eBay purchase and then a Facebook pick pickup, um, some other random stuff, and uh, stuff from a rental store. As you can see here, I got, uh, should be 11 boxes. And um, I got this off of eBay, one of the eBay sellers that I'd bought from before, a big lot of SNES games, and they had posted up some more, so I went ahead and made another purchase. It's 11 boxes, and it was 80 bucks um, for it, uh, which is pretty good. I'm still working really hard and trying to get uh, more boxes for the collection. As long as I can get them cheap, um, that's kind of my goal, is to get the boxes, and then I'll just hold on to them until I get the games. Uh, first, we'll start here. This is a, a duplicate, but a good one, of uh, Super Battle King 2. Um, I picked it up from game store and I kind of regretted it because uh, it was only like eight bucks But the box that I had before was really beat up um, And it had it had the game in it, but I think it was the wrong copy of the game. <laughs> it was like Super Battle Tank 1 So it's kind of a mess all over but um, I was able to pick up the second one here um, As a part in this lot and this one's in much better condition as you can see I got I got in a protector but um, happy to get that um, So now I just have that beat up one as an extra. Okay, and uh, the next one I got was another duplicate, uh, Star Trek TNG, uh, Features Past. Uh, just another one that uh, I did already have, and this one was just a little bit worse than mine. Still pretty good. I'm not sure what I'm doing with the duplicates right now, but uh, of course I'll keep them in a case, keep them nice. Um, this one was in really good condition, Wizardry 6. Pick that up. And none of these have the manual. I think one of them does, but uh, most of them don't. But the box is, of course, is what I'm looking for. So, um, Best of the best, Championship Karate. You know, with these lots, they do have a few sports games, but that's all right. I'm sure I'll add those to the collection as well. Here's probably the best one, um, Battle Codes in Battle Maniacs. And, you know, it's got a little stress on the top. I think it has another. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad overall. But I was very happy to see that in there. Very nice. I've never heard of this one before. It's Bazooka Blitzkrieg. <laughs> um, this one did have the manual, but it's it's in horrible condition. Um, I, I left it in there just in case. Um, but definitely something I'll have to replace at some point. But very nice. And then we got Batman Returns. Very cool. It's got the Batman sticker on there. Very nice. Um, Sim Earth, another one that was in really good condition. But yeah, these are all games that I don't have yet, but I'm happy to build that collection. I definitely have a ton of boxes now in my closet waiting for games. Um, Wings 2, this one's a little more beat up than the others. And a few of these did have stickers on them that I removed, um, just at the top right. Um, but for the most part, they were pretty easy to get off. Uh, you'll see one that wasn't very soon. Although I didn't do that. Uh, PGA Tour Golf. Um, another sports game. Pretty good condition. But yeah, this one I'm adding to my collection, but as you can see, um, it was already torn. The, the label was kind of half off, and uh, so I just went ahead and took it all the way off. But you can see it definitely got some damage there. Kind of sad. Um, I was happy to get a box for my copy of Star Trek, but unfortunately, probably the worst box of the bunch, really. Um, but yeah, I did add that one to the collection, so the game's in there. Um, but yeah, it was 80 bucks. Um, I think I'll keep trying to do that as much as I can. So next, um, let me go ahead and show, uh, if you're not familiar, the Family Video is a video rental store. Um, and like the lower Midwest, I don't think it's really up north as much, but um, they are going out of business, um, which, you know, is sad. I never never like to hear about people, you know, losing their jobs and stuff, but unfortunately it's probably expected, you know, Blockbuster <laughs> didn't survive. They are going out of business, so my local ones, you know, were having their sales. And I went to go check them out. You know, they don't really have older stuff as much, so it's not a lot for me to buy that I prefer to buy anyway. And their newest stuff, they still have like 30 bucks on. I did... 
find uh, one game, though. Uh, Super Mario Maker. They had it down to three. So I went and picked that up. Um, pretty easy pickup. I was kind of surprised to see it. Um, and then I did pick up some signs. They were selling their signs for 10 bucks a piece. Um, you know, I asked about it, and they were like, yeah, they're for sale. 10 bucks a piece. We want them. Of course, they're not official, but uh, I think they're pretty nice. Um, this one you can see um, on the edges, it has this red and white, because I think they just put a sticker over the PlayStation 3. But they did leave that on the other side, and, you know, they have some damage and stuff, obviously. But they're not too bad overall. Um, not official, like I said, but I think that uh, if I get more room, I could put them up. I'd love to put them up, like, above the PS4, like, put this above that. I think it would look pretty cool. So I was happy to at least pick them up. Um, like I said, they were 10 bucks a piece. They got a Nintendo DS one. Um, I don't know which one it was, but... Oh, yeah, this one, I don't know what happened, but the, the image here is just so blown up. <laughs> it it kind of looks bad. But uh, I think this side looks better. Doesn't look too bad. And I think the one that looks the nicest is the Wii U sign here. Pick that up as well. That looks pretty good. And it's just got the same thing on the back here. So, pretty interesting pickup. Um, I, I don't know when all the stores officially close right now. Um, as I'm recording this, I know they're still open, still doing the sale that they have. But, uh, at the very least, I was able to pick up a little bit, so I was happy to be able to do that. Let me just go ahead and show the uh, next pickup was just some, some random stuff from, from pawn shops and flea markets. Uh, I was actually picking up this Facebook Marketplace pickup and was able to do some, uh, just some random shopping. But I found some good stuff, so I was happy to do that. Um, found Rhythm Heaven, and that was $5. The price on this just keeps going up, so... I was definitely not going to ignore a $5 Rhythm Heaven. So, very nice there. Um, picked up Smackdown Shut Your Mouth for two at a flea market. Um, no manual. Got the game there. The disc is pretty scratched on this one, though. Yeah. Got some gunk on there, too. I <laughs> think you can probably see. So we'll see if I can get that to work, but for two bucks I'll take a chance on it. This is one that is worth a little more than most, so I need to pick it up. Um, at a pawn shop, I found some games for the collection, actually. Um, Pac-Man World Rally. Didn't have that. Always excited to get some more PS2 games, considering how many I have. And then the Shield, the game. They are both two bucks a piece, so that's the exact price I want for this kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm noticing there's like a some sticker residue. There's a little sticky there. To get that off, not a big deal. And the last pickup I have was that Facebook Marketplace pickup I mentioned. Two PS2s for twenty bucks a piece. Um, I did already plug them in and test them. They're pretty dirty. This one, you know, is missing the back, which I actually had one a while ago that was also missing the back, so I don't know how that happens, but they both have hard drives, which is good. This one has a 250, and the big one has a 80. But, yeah, like I said, I plugged them in, tested them. They work just fine. Turn on, play games, uh, play DVDs. Uh, heavy guy. Not the backwards compatible model, unfortunately. But, yeah, other than just being really dirty, they uh, work just fine. So, of course, those will just be for resale. I already have both those models. But 20 bucks a piece is pretty awesome. And when I was there, they were like, oh, well, since we don't have PS3 anymore, you can just have the games that I found. Um, so they gave me a copy of Far Cry 3, disc only, and MotorStorm. And this is pretty ripped up, but <laughs> it's there. So that was nice of them to give me two free games. Not worth much, but 
Always good for trading. And that's all I had. Um, so uh, we'll see if uh, I can get any more pickups pretty soon. I'm pretty excited. To, I'm already feeling it where I want to go back to garage sailing and going to flea markets, but we'll see how things go. Alright, so the first uh, were just some amiibos. So you can see I got the Splatoon boy here, and these were just another five below um, purchase. Um, I think it is pretty worth it uh, to go in there every so often, because I seem to be finding they're, they're getting amiibos pretty consistently. I just picked up um, um, Jiro Suit Samus from there for five, and so now they had a Splatoon boy and girl. They had a bunch of each, and they also had some um, Mr. Rossetti which I already have, so I didn't pick up. You know, it might be worth picking up since they have so many, like picking up multiple, but I think you'd have to wait a while to really, you know, be able to resell or anything. Not a big deal. I just picked up one of each uh, since I needed them for the collection, but, you know, five bucks a piece, that's pretty awesome to get for, you know, basically a, you know, a new box copy of it, um, of an Amiibo. Um, as you can see here, I'm pretty excited about it. I got the Super Mario Brothers 25th Anniversary uh, DSi XL. <laughs> Red has a weird um, stylus that kind of extends. Not sure what that's about, but um, it's not in perfect condition. You can see there's some like rubbing. I think the black is wearing off and like that's causing it. Um, it works just fine, but there is like kind of a you can see some pretty deep scratches there on the bottom. It works fine as well, though. Um, this was at a pawn shop actually that I was checking out. Um, after picking up the PlayStation here, and they had it for 50 bucks, which, um, you know, I really thought about it, because that is more than I'd like to spend. It did come with some games, as you can see, but 50 bucks is still quite a bit from what I normally try to pay. But I decided it was worth it, because I don't really have a lot of these special editions, and I really want to try to get them, but most of them that I have are just different color variants, so I was happy to get a special edition like this, which is pretty cool. I thought anyway. And you know, you can see it came with a charger, it had a case, and it had a 16 gigabyte SD card. I'm surprised those aren't worth more. <laughs> um, those tiny SD cards. But it had Hina Montana, Cars, Vampire Secrets, Mystery Case Files, Millionaire, and Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. So. Nothing too great there. I have a stack here of, pretty exciting, of some more SNES boxes. Uh, I've been doing this a lot from a seller that's been selling a lot of their boxes. And they're willing to give a bit of a discount on these. And this is another one where I got six boxes for around 35 with shipping. So that's pretty awesome to add these to the collection. Um, there's three of them that are going right into my shelf because I have the games for them. Um, but the first one here is Bugs Bunny Rabbit Rampage. And I wouldn't say any of them are perfect. This one's in pretty good condition. Got a few crease issues. Um, yeah, I guess the bottom's kind of bad, but pretty good overall. No manuals or inserts, just the boxes. Um, this one you can see is uh, probably one of the worst ones. This Redline F1 racer. The front's kind of crushed in, but... You know, I'm happy to keep growing that box collection. I'm really getting some pretty big stacks of empty boxes where um, once I start getting more Super Nintendo games, I'll really be able to start filling it out. Uh, we got Nickelodeon Ah Real Monsters. Another the one's kind of got some got some pushed in this. Some issues on the top. But overall, pretty good. Um, you know, I don't know how much once I... <laughs> If I even get close to a full collection one day, how much I'll be able to go back and, you know, start being like, okay, this box I want to upgrade. Um, it's probably more likely that I'll just get another copy in a lot and be like, oh, that one's better. So, you know, we'll see. Um, and these three I did already have games for, so I was able to complete Super R-Type. Very nice. Pretty awesome. This one's in pretty good condition. Uh, Super Return of the Jedi, very nice one. Another crease on the front. Um, I can't remember if there's anything else wrong with this one. But overall, not too bad. So that's awesome. 
And I did get uh, a copy of Revolution X, the Aerosmith game. Pretty awesome. I wonder if having them in cases makes them look better. Because <laughs> uh, some of these were, are a little beat up. Um, but the cases make them look good, I guess. This one, you can see there's a tear on the top there um, in the corner. But still, pretty awesome to get that for $35. Bucks. Um, I'm going to keep trying to do that as long as these um, lots keep going online. Just because uh, I want to keep working on the box collection. And this is really the way I'm doing it. Uh, until I can do more trade-ins or, you know, get really lucky. This is, this is how I'm doing it. So the last pick up here is uh, a PlayStation 3 bundle, which I picked up for 40 bucks. Um, see here, it's got a PlayStation Slim. Um, they did warn me that it does not play DVDs, and unfortunately it does not. I um, confirmed it, and I also opened it up and cleaned the laser um, on the drive, you know, hoping that would fix it, but it did not. I'm not sure what causes that. Um, it seems like a very specific issue. You know, I know there's there's two lasers in there. Um, one for Blu-ray, one for the DVDs, but for whatever reason, it just does not read DVDs. It goes in, you know, I had the cover off, so I was able to literally see it goes, takes the disc in, spins up, stops, spins up, stops, and then, um, it looks like it tries to eject the disc and then put it back and immediately retract it, you know, sucking it back in to try it again. I assume that's a part of like the system's troubleshooting. Does that a few times and it gives up. And, you know, it plays PlayStation 3 games just fine. I tested a few. And I also tested a PS1 game because I was curious. And that also works. So, you know, for 40 bucks, it was a good deal. Um, and I think that uh, I'll still resell it. I'll just have to put in the title that it has the DVD issue. But it came with a nice controller, which is good. And it had all the cables as well. Um, and also had a third party controller. Probably won't keep that, but. Uh, there was some good a good one in here. It did have Uncharted 3. It also had a 2K Sports All Pro Basketball, basketball, football, 2K8, which is like a $35, $40 game. So. so that was nice to be able to get that as a part of it. That was one of the reasons why I was willing to do it at 40 You know, that's good anyway, but getting a game that's worth about 40 anyway, well... That'll really help, so that kind of just makes it all the better. Um, but anyway, that's what I have for um, this uh, kind of smaller pickup, but some nice little bundles. Happy that I'm still picking up stuff, even, you know, during the off-season, I guess you would say. 